Thank you for joining. You've got questions, we've got answers. This week's question is, why has school discipline changed? I'll start this by saying that school discipline is one of my favorite topics to research um, and to talk about. School discipline has changed, honestly, because past discipline practices have proven to be ineffective. Uh, all of the research that's out there tells us that what we've done in the past with our approach to school discipline has not yielded schools that were safer or schools that had better academic achievement. But what has happened is the opposite. Our students have been put into situations where because of large removals or long-term removals from school, um, it has impacted their academic performance. Um, it has impacted their ability to understand appropriate social engagement. So over the years, there's been some change. To really, really unpack this, you have to look at how we got to where we were with school discipline. So in the mid 90s, um, uh, parallel to the war on drugs, um, we kind of instituted a zero tolerance policy. That zero tolerance policy really started long term removals for kids for infractions that they would have on a school campus. There is no research to date that supports that zero tolerance policies are effective and really uh, results in better school campuses and better students. Again, what research tells us is that those policies are ineffective and actually have negative consequences for the students who are, are subject to those policies, procedures, and rules uh, within respective districts across the nation. What has happened with school discipline as we begin this reform? Um, schools have looked at restorative practices. Schools have looked at in lieu of suspension options. Schools have looked at uh, targeted behaviors and intervention systems. And schools have looked at character education programs. These are all things that really bring to the forefront of what we should do with any individual who is sitting in a school campus that's not meeting our expectation. And that is teach them the skills that they need to be able to meet our expectation. And so why has school discipline changed? It's changed because what we have done in the past has been ineffective in moving our students forward. Under the current school discipline reforms that are happening on a national level, we're seeing students who are gaining skills that they did not have, skills that they um, did not have before they walked into our campus. Um, they're building better relationships. They are learning to advocate for themselves, but they're also showing growth under the academic achievement domain. So what we're doing now is proven to be much more effective than what we did in the past. And that is why school discipline has changed. At the conclusion of this video will be some supports and resources that will guide you on your journey should you take it towards discipline reform in your school or within your district. Thank you and have an excellent day.